hey guys we're back with another video so this video is all late i know i'm sorry it has been a hectic week <clears throat> we got sick and after this we got sick and there was a lot of stuff going on but i'm back um this is a video where i moved the extra bed that i had recently showed y'all that i got more stones to make another raised bed beside my greenhouse well last minute my husband decided to expand our fence backyard fence in sort of in the front part of the house right there it was just like a little corner so he was like let's just expand it so you can move to the front that way you can spend more time um in the front yard too so we were like okay so i moved that new one um to the front i was not able to move the other one yet because as i showed y'all on the previous videos <clears throat> i had already planted it and i didn't want to disturb the the roots of my tomatoes because they already flowering and my cucumbers and stuff so for now it's just that bad and here it was on a weekend um i was doing this my husband was working on his chicken houses and um uh, but yeah so far i would do another video or a short where i um how it pre uh recently looks because this is a late video so I will do another video or maybe a short to show y'all how it looks now, <clears throat> which I am so in love. And I just recently went to Lowe's and bought more of those um, stones, rocks, whatever they're called, um, to make another raised bed. And because I can't move the other one yet. Um, but yeah, this is how it's going. This was early in the morning, like seven in the morning and i was tired but i was really excited to do this and i couldn't wait as you can see the fence is still not finished <clears throat> um but i just decided to go ahead and move a uh, part of it because i couldn't fit the whole thing in there but i decided to start moving part of it because my dad was gonna come that same afternoon to finish the whole fencing um but yeah that's how it's going i did do like um fast forward it because it was a lot of videos um it ended up being a two-day thing i was not able to finish on that same day <clears throat> but it was a two-day thing because you're you're going to see that in another video i'm gonna be dressed differently here i messed up i did not pay attention it was too early in the morning and i didn't pay attention how i took it off so i am fixing it again how it's supposed to be like and measuring and make sure that it's um <clears throat> the same width oh, i'm so sorry i just have this throat will not leave me alone i'm just getting out of my the cold i got the flu so i'm just getting out of it um here i just try to level it level it out i know people are gonna get at me they're gonna tell me why didn't i put cardboard or um some type of landscape fabric or something under it because this was you know i did this on top of my grass um honestly budget wise um i didn't we couldn't get anything from lowe's because it was it, the fabric is too expensive we did look at it um cardboard i didn't have any cardboard i did try to look i didn't have anything around or anything like that so yeah um i just left it like that um i didn't i couldn't get anything um here now i'm moving the 
middle stones for the walkway because I am trying to um, at least try to keep the grass <clears throat> all in my backyard the grass is gone so I would really love to keep the grass where I'm moving at and hopefully um, let it grow throughout the whole space where I'm gonna be at because um, I really do like seeing how green it is um, so I'm gonna put some steps to see um, here I had already installed some of the bamboo sticks because I was gonna make my own um, stakes for the tomatoes <clears throat> but different plan so I took them out um, here I'm just moving the the dirt and my son just got there he brought me my energy drink they are just so loving and they're always watching out for me here i got hot so as you can see i put a shirt on but tucked it in the back because it was a little hot <clears throat> and i didn't want to be just working in my sports bra here my daughter um you're gonna see the camera moving a lot because after here after this part um my daughter did came out they all of my kids actually decided to come out and be productive today so my oldest daughter um she did come out and help me record so that way i can just work and she'll move with the camera pause and record so it's a lot easier now for, it was a lot easier for me now um but now i'm just uh moving dirt to the other side which I was really tired that at the end of that day and I was like oh my god I can't believe I moved literally that dirt was next to that spot where I'm putting it now all the way to back mm -hmm. there where I'm at now <clears throat> I mean where I was at and I'm technically moving it back to the front where it was almost at it so I'm like oh I cannot believe my husband didn't decide on doing this way before I decided to move this dirt back here. Because now I have to move it back to the front. And moving the dirt it was is tiring. The, surprisingly, the dirt is really heavy. <clears throat> uh, but yeah. Sorry. Um, something's wrong with my throat. I'm trying to feel better soon. Um, yeah, so far this is what it's looking at. That door and a piece of that um, fence is the one that we, where the fence was at. So they still haven't removed it because we do have a big pit bull dog. So we couldn't remove it until my dad came over and helped us close the rest of the fence. But I will show y'all in a little bit where me and my husband are removing it um but yeah this is what it's looking at looking like um there goes my younger daughter my younger son they're collecting roly polies um i have a question if anybody out there knows is the roly well we call it roly polies i don't know what you guys call it it's some little animals that you touch and they roll up it's a little ball they're gray are they bad for plants because i have a lot of roly polies in my dirt and i'm wondering if they damage plants or something the roots i don't know if somebody knows please let me know here's my daughter trying to help me supposedly uh, i was taking a break and drinking my celsius so then i took over um but yeah, and my kids are just being productive, following me everywhere. They are my energy. They give me energy. Watching them out here enjoying themselves just excites me. But yeah, <clears throat> so far just moving the dirt, guys. This is going to be one of my longest videos. 
I wanted to do it into two parts, but I'm like, no, I'm just going to do it in one whole part. I'm not much of a good editor either. This is, I'm not a pro, guys. This is, um, I just started my YouTube channel, so I just want to show y'all my progress because I am excited and ready to grow my own food. Here I will show y'all where my daughter's point um pointing the camera at the bottom. I we did have some big stumps of um a tree that we cut down. And right now you can't see it because we had already took it out. I mixed up the videos, <clears throat> but it will be in this video. I will show y'all where me and my husband took out the trunks or stumps i don't know what you call them from where the where we removed the tree oh yeah this part um i had left a potato out i forgot to plant and my daughter gave it to me and she's like wait i need to show everybody what you're planting and i'm like it's just a potato she's like still i want i want to show them um, and in the video, she is saying she's planting a potato, guys. But, you know, since I'm doing the over voice, you can't hear her. Um, but, yeah, that's my little garden garden helper. She likes to help me around a lot. And there, she's like, I have a shovel to help you with. And it was a tiny shovel. <laughs> she's just goofy um but yeah I don't know what else to tell y'all what else see my daughter she's showing y'all supposedly her broken finger she broke it at the very tip of her finger and um she was in there supposedly showing y'all what happened to her finger. I'm telling y'all, this was a hectic week. Mm -hmm. That's why I took forever. Um, a lot of stuff happened. But here comes my dad um, helping out, closing the thing. He helped out to close one side of the, of the fence. And as you can see, because I don't have the raised bed yet installed... So, this was only the first part. And here's when we took the stumps out. So, right now he's just filling it back up. Like I said, I mixed up the videos. Um, but I will show you when we took the stumps out. Um, but so far, right here, he's just throwing all the leftover dirt from the, pot, uh, from the holes that he made for the fencing um and then here is a video where we were pulling the tree tr the leftover tree trunks uh for with the truck because they were a little bit rotten but still it was too hard for us to take it out by hand um so my husband had this brilliant brilliant idea he said you know what let's just hook it with a chain and let's just pull them out and so far yeah it, it worked good this one right here did give us some trouble um it took us a while so i had to cut it short because it we had to cut a big root that was not rotten yet and that was causing for us not to be able to take it out but at the end we were able to take it out and cover that big hole with the leftover dirt that came out from the holes that he made for the fencing but this was the last one and here's a quick video where i showed y'all all the tree trunks that we took out and back to filling my race bed <laughs> this was tiring i was tired guys literally never again like i'm i'm staying here i told my husband i'm staying here don't ever come up with ideas 
saying, oh, hey, how about you go back back there where you was at before? Because I'm not. I told him I am not moving again. I am not moving all of this dirt. Never again. I was tired. I'm still feeling it. I'm tired. Uh, but yeah. I'm only missing one kid. I have four kids. But only one of them is not out here. He is usually inside. He's a little older than all of these three. So he doesn't really like to be spending a lot of time out here. Um, This is my new idea that I had. Well, not my new idea. I got it from somebody. Well, most of the gardeners. Um, Here, we're trying to finish the fence one of the corners at least um we are doing it he will he is um nailing it by hand because my dad didn't leave his compressor for the air gun but yeah guys um sorry i keep getting interrupted i'm trying to make this video as quiet as i can but i do have four kids so um here we are just finishing one side like i said because my dad took his compressor so we could not use it so he was just nailing it in with the hammer but this was just one little small um part so um yeah this part we are taking like i told y'all before um in the beginning we decided to take the old fence apart this was another day as you can see i'm wearing a different clothes um my dad did not come that day that he was supposed to he came the next day so this this is when we decided to take the fence down um, we did tie our dog because we don't want him to just run away, run to the front yard in case somebody's walking or or a dog is passing by. <clears throat> but this is where his chickens were at. It literally was at the end of this fence, but he will be moving it and now he's just gonna be taking the door off and the post the old post here is when we're taking the other side of the fencing and this part was funny guys so he was trying to take this pole out and we had not so long ago put it on there and it came out like nothing and he that's where he's looking like huh I swear I put cement on this. Why did it come out so clean? <laughs> and we don't know. We don't know. We don't remember. But we swear we put um, cement on him. Here I am taking um, the fence apart. So that we can either burn it. Or I think he said he was going to recycle it. And use it to do the roofing of his chicken houses. Because some of these are still good right there as you can see my dad came um he was waiting for a part i don't remember <laughs> but he we ended up not finding that part so he left quickly after that because he was doing a project at his own house that day and so he just left he did he didn't want to wait for us to look for it good and I continued to take it apart. Then my sister came to visit. Um, yeah, it was it was a hectic day. Just getting visitors and... You know, but they, they always help us. So, we are thankful for that. Um, yeah. At the end of this part, I did the saw thingy. Did just died <laughs> and i couldn't finish so i had to do it by hammer um but this is the end result this is the, the end of the video how it ended up looking 
I did not, I was not able to record when my dad came and finished the other side of the fencing. Um, all I have to do is just move all of that bamboo stick, clean out a little bit. Um, but I will show you all another video where it currently looks like. And, but yeah, I have more videos for y'all. I have been doing more projects back there and adding more plants and it's getting fuller. So I will either upload stories to show y'all or make another little like five minute video because me personally, I don't like long videos. I don't know what to talk about. Um, I'm still learning how to do this YouTube thing. So be patient with me, guys. This is my son's blueberry. We just bought him a blueberry um, because he's been wanting a blueberry, blueberry plant. Uh, it's a banana pepper. And I have my sister's tree. It's either a tangerine or orange. One of them too. But so far, that's what it's looking at, looking like. And I am so in love, guys. So in love with this. I'm so glad my husband told me to move up here. Um, <clears throat> those are my squash plants. And some, I think they're called Mexican onions or I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I will show y'all more of what it looks like now. Um, I did another little fun project too back there to close off my little garden spot. Um, <clears throat> I will show y'all how I did the supports for the tomatoes too. I did it way differently um, because I seen another YouTuber that did it that way. And look how gorgeous my fence looks. I'm so in love with it. We are going to paint it so that the wood will la last a little longer. And we are going to continue the new fencing down all the way to our backyard. Because it's already falling apart in some parts. So we are renewing our fence. And I will show y'all uh, videos or either shorts. Um, this is a current video of how my roses look. I am so in love with this new... Uh, makeover that I did and I'm surprised because this rose was supposed to be white and it turned this color why somebody tell me why I have not done anything it has been there for three years in the past two years it has flowered white and this is the first year that flowers like that if somebody knows let me know the only thing I done different this year was that I put chicken poop under it that's about it but other than that i have not done anything to it so i don't know why it changed colors but yeah guys hope you guys like this video subscribe like anything bye mm -hmm.